Polly and Jazz give it one more go with mark number three. Excuse me, guys. You couldn't do me a massive favour, could you? I'm just moving into the flat up there. I need to get these boxes. Could you help as well? Just to the lift, but I don't want to do it and then come back and the rest be stolen. So would you I'm give me a hand? You could give me a hand. Door? Yeah, literally. I just don't don't want to come back and then be gone. Do you oh. know? Thank you. This guy's world is about to come crashing down. Thank you. Oh, no, you've just broken my plates. Oh, my lap. Oh, my... Oh my god. What here? Oh my god, it's all smashed. Jesus. <sighs> do you not hold the bottom or something? Oh my god, what am I gonna do? I'm really sorry about that. I honestly was. That's obviously just been folded over the bottom. It's still been taken in. Well. The Mark already feels guilty, so Polly turns up the pressure even more. I've just started a new job as well, and I need to take that next week. I've just moved in. Oh, I'm not worried about the plates, but look at my. <gasps> Oh my god, it's absolutely destroyed. Have you got, um, I can't I believe have this. You got, got insurance for it? <sighs> yeah, I have, but I've got to pay in excess of £200. I can't afford that. I've just moved here from London. This is awful. Oh Polly leaves Jazz alone to have a man to man chat with the Mark. Do you want to like, put, put some money in together? How much? I don't know, like, I don't know, 50 quid each or something towards our excess if it's 200. I just feel I'm, I just feel part responsible. I'm really I feel I know what it's like moving I'm shaking. to. Shaking! I can't believe this has happened. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I think we're both we're both going to put some money in for you uh, to help towards the excess. That's news to him. Should I put this in? Or... Yeah, don't worry. I'll sweep that up in a minute. I'm not worried about the plates. It's just my my laptop. This guy's still not flashing the cash. That's not That's just what I exactly what you mean. I just feel a bit like I know what it's like moving to a new. I just can't believe this is happening. I'll give you 50, and I think he's going to give you 50, and then at least put something towards, I mean, towards that would... getting it repaired. Yeah, you want to double check? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's the wallet. The Mark feels so guilty for the broken laptop, he hands over £50 to a complete stranger. Jazz keeps up his end of the bargain too, though he knows he'll be getting his money back. The Mark heads off, thinking he's done a good deed. In fact, he's just been done. Oh, see you anyway. All right, mate. See you later. I dropped a box that had a laptop in that in it and broke it. The guy who was carrying one of the boxes had offered to give her some money because she she'd brought up the conversation of money and he offered to give her some, so then he asked me as well. So I just felt I may as well chip in and you know help her out a bit, but obviously he took for a ride. This is quite a devious little scam, and as you've seen, even a pair of novice hustlers can fool you with it. You do someone a favour, next thing you know, you're reaching for your wallet. Hustlers have always exploited people's good nature to make them feel responsible for damaged goods. This person was a good Samaritan. He was trying to help this lady. An accident happens. He's got no liability whatsoever. He should never part with money under these circumstances. This is a straight rip-off. All right. OK. Uh, do you mind if I have a look? Yes. £20 notes, so £50 notes. <laughs> Yay! Thank you very much. Bye. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Thank you. Excuse me. Hi, Considering that it's a 